So up until now, it's been a general approach to guard retention using concepts, principles. We also looked at different body movements. So now we're going to put this more into a specific, um, specific techniques. So we're going to look at seven, the seven main passes. Again, um, we covered the, the Donahue passing system um, in the club, and he covered seven uh, passes, double under, over under, knee slice, long step, leg drag, um, torianda. So we're covering the main passes. We're going to start with double under. So from the position, um, Tyrone, I'm in a supine position with my knees up. Tyrone's probably going to come underneath. He'll be looking to get one of his hands past my centre line. And now from there, he's going to now make me eat my knee, get my leg on his shoulder and start to turn the corner. Perfect, take a back step. Let's just look at closing this down. So first thing is, as he comes under with both hands, my two hands is going to snag either wrist. And I'm going to push um, his hands towards my pockets or towards my hips. Again, that's a four-fingered grip on the outside, thumb on the inside. I have to grab two hands because if I just grab one, Tyrone can then switch to grab past the centre line with the other hand. So I'm just grabbing two hands and pushing them this way. His next goal is to get my leg on his shoulder. So I just lift my butt and, and curl my heels down so that my heels are below my hips. So again, now heavy legs is a little bit more difficult. Now another thing he can do from this position is get to his feet. So Throne manages to get to my, my, his feet from there. He can physically grab the back of my pants and flip me over the turtle. Let's take a finger step. So what we're looking to do is create space. So as he goes to double under, I just snag his two hand grips and then I push them towards um, my pockets or my hips. Then I do heavy legs. And now as he tries to stand up, I, I take a back step. I want to move my head away from Tyrone so he stretch out. And as he's standing up, I can swim one leg to the inside. All I need is one leg to the inside. And now as he stands up, we're back into it. I have my whole guard back again. So just get a little angle on that front. So as he moves from double to double unders, I just snag his, his wrist, that's the first part. Second thing is, I do heavy legs so see, to stop him getting um, my leg or either leg on the shoulder. And even if he doesn't stand up from this position, I'm gonna stretch away and look to bring in one leg inside. And now from there I can hip out and now we've got our guard back again. So. Three simple little things I want to be doing to close down the double under pass. <laughs>